Hey, or welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about the Librarianess. Follow Bob Comet as the Librarianess in this slice of life book celebrating ordinary life. Well, this book is interesting in a sense that um, you have Bob here. He uses a lot of vocabulary that I think I wouldn't be using in my own everyday speech. So that was like a nice refreshing um, thing to learn, some new vocabulary in this book. In addition, how the book is organized is not by numbered chapters, but the sections are divided into Bob's life at that certain year. And then you kind of read what happens within those years. And I thought it was just, again, an interesting way to organize how a story is told. There's a cute quote I wanted to share with you. Nothing significant, but just like a cute saying here. Um, it says, uh, I'll put some sugar in the water, she says to Bob, that makes the flowers stand up and say hello. Just such a nice interaction there. There are a couple misses from this book though. So the first one is the ending I felt like was very anticlimactic. I kind of wanted something else to happen in the ending. So I thought the ending didn't, well, the ending wasn't my favorite. Another thing was the author teases um, an interaction between Bob and this character. And that was like it. I felt like I needed to find out more about what happened between these characters, if anything was really resolved or not. Because I felt like that was just, um, I felt like that was like missing, just getting the final resolve from that character. Um, the other thing is, um, there's these two characters in Bob's life, um, Ethan and Connie. They unfortunately are not my favorite characters. Um, Ethan is very um, wishy-washy. He's also an unreliable friend. Um, and then you have Connie. She's definitely a wild child, free spirit, also selfish. And so it was kind of interesting how Ethan and Connie plays a role in Bob's life while um, I felt like this book it was also like a tragedy in a sense. Um, again, I'm fine with reading like slice of life books and just the ordinary, um, but this book to me didn't hit a lot of the spots that I thought um, would kind of carry me to want to like read this book again if I had a choice. Um, I also felt like I got really disinterested and bored um, towards the end of the story. Um, I, to me, I felt like this was a, I guess I get why the author put that in the book, but at the same time, it was like kind of unnecessary. Like I wish like maybe that portion of the book didn't happen so that we could get more of like other things that I felt could have wrapped this book up nicely. Um, you know, Bob is a very nice character. He's gentlemanlike. He tries to say things tactfully and he doesn't put anybody down. So like you really can't hate Bob in this story. It's just to me, unfortunately, it was a sad story and I wasn't as interested as and invested in the story as I'd like to be. I'm glad I read it. So my, what would I give this book? So it's teetering between a two or three only because I think the vocabulary used in this book was wonderful and just um, how it started. But I think I'm gonna be leaning towards a two for again, the reasons I said earlier. The ending wasn't my favorite. I did get bored. Um, and just Bob's life in general wasn't as interesting for me. The, those are my takes. Please let me know your thoughts. Did you like this book? Did you like this book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.